Hey, what's happening everyone? It's been a while since I've uh, made any videos. Uh, I've had some other side projects that have been going on for a while. So I just want to give a quick update. Uh, there's just a couple things I've done to the layout. One of the <clears throat> ones is I got these uh, trees. They're made by a JTT scenery. And I just kind of put them around the layout where I thought they'd look kind of good. And I put some down here as well. Uh, let's see, the other thing I got, I got this new work truck. It's a, uh, I think it's the Lifelike Scenescapes. Um, probably going to weather it. Kind of dull it down because it's super shiny right now. Uh, let's see what else. <clears throat> so the thing that's been occupying all my time is I bought a laser cutter or engraver and uh, been going through the uh, motions with that. If anybody's familiar with these things, they can, they can take up a lot of work. So this is a uh, an LX Maker, it's the A3 model. Um, it comes as a kit, you buy them. I got this one out of uh, China, and it was from Banggood. They had a sale near Christmas. Um, so then, this one, it worked for about, the laser worked for about hmm, five minutes, and then it died. Um, so I've had to warranty the laser, but if you guys have ever bought anything from there, it's pulling teeth. Here's the original laser that came with it. Um, like I said, it died within five minutes or five minutes of use. So I upgraded to a, uh, it's a JTT or JT Photonics laser kit. So you can see the laser diode there. So it's actually a bigger laser diode. It's, I believe it, or nine millimeter. <clears throat> and then I just made this mount out of plastic here to go in the original one so you can move it up and down. And what that allows you to do is really focus the, uh, the laser beam real well. Part of that kit comes with a new laser driver board, which is this right here. The old laser is driven off of the MANA SE style board and all you have to do is connect the uh, laser uh, wire output from there for the, to trigger it on and off. Um, so there's quite a bit of work to get all this stuff together and working. Um, but it's working now. I'm able to start making stuff and that's kind of been my goal. So. Um, I've been messing with settings and doing everything else, and it, it's been a real hard progress. Uh, the way I've been designing them is using Inkscape, and then uh, there's the uh, output function to make G-code, which then you use Laser Gerbil to actually do the cutting. I won't get into it too much. It's pretty, uh, pretty lengthy. But slowly you've been figuring it out. So this is the first kit that I've made so far. Um, I made it uh, out of two pieces. Uh, the inside is just a plain basswood and then the outside is the uh, scribed basswood. And then cut all the openings. This whole thing is basically was done with the laser. As you can see the, the windows just pop right in there and held in. So this is loosely based off of Rio Grande, a uh, Western model that I found online. I think it was like a bunk house or a section house or something. Just want something small to uh, get my feet wet with, uh, with building it. And then there's a door frame here. Just goes right in. So like I said, it's, it's not an easy process, there's a steep learning curve, um, mainly getting all the settings right, and uh, 
just getting the whole thing running. So uh, I'll show more. Uh, I'll probably show this, uh, the build progress in this video and also the, uh, the finished product. It'll be uh, the same yellow and brown scheme. Kind of like that one there on the layout. So with the laser, my ultimate goal is <clears throat> I bought a, uh, well, soon to buy a uh, kit off another guy uh, for a rotary snowplow. And uh, it's the, I can't remember who makes it, but it's a white metal and wood kit. They come with sides that are not pre-cut. So what I was going to do is design it and cut it all with the laser. That way it comes out real nice. Um, so definitely going to be building more kits. I got to just find more, uh, more stuff to actually build. And, uh, believe it or not, it's kind of hard to find stuff to, uh, to base off of to build. That's not overly too complex. I have tried cutting styrene with this. I know styrene's it's toxic and it blows out, but I've got a ventilation and I'm here in my garage so I can blow all the smoke out. Um, but it just kind of, it doesn't go all the way through. This is a 2.8 watt laser and I only have it set to about 1.5 watt. Uh, that way it just helps with the longevity of the laser. So I could probably use it. It, it kind of just melts the plastic. Um, it's more like scoring it. I'm sure if I did enough passes it would go through, but um, it's not a real good tool for, I would say, for cutting styrene. Uh, that's where you'd have to probably get up into the, the higher wattage, like the CO2 lasers, and I didn't want to have to deal with uh, the CO2 and the water and all that kind of stuff. Plus this one, I made it so it's actually removable out of this box, this box lid. You can see the screws down in there. It'll actually unscrew. The top will come off. And then the actual uh, frame here is just sitting in there. So you can pull it out and actually set this on other stuff. So, um, But, I mean, you can make all sorts of boxes and other stuff. So I found some stuff on the line. I just got to figure out how to do these notched pieces. So when I do a, a kit like this, I could actually notch the corners so they fit together. Um, <clears throat> so that's something I got to figure out. If there's some uh, people out there that have had any experience with that, that could help out. Um, preferably, the way to do it would be through Inkscape somehow. But anyways, oh, and the one other thing I did buy else was this uh, Walther's Modern Electrical Gear. And uh, it has all these cool junction boxes and uh, even the gas meter and then these because I actually looked for these and uh, I end up having to make them out of something else as you can see right there because I think those were AC units from Walther's um, but yeah these things are all over the place and especially in modern all your uh, your transformers and stuff that are in ground um, so it's a uh, pretty fairly uh, it's got a lot of stuff in it so uh, I'll probably start building some of these uh, and start putting them around uh, the layout down here because it's mainly for the uh, the modern layout and as you can see nothing else has changed here I don't think I've done anything else other than just running stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So anyways, um, either in this video or another video, I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll put in the... Uh, I'll put in the finished model and the build photos of the uh, that laser structure I just built. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys.